Yo guys, what is up? This is Scummers from MenuDocs coming back at you with Discord.py episode 7. And today we're going to be going over a cool thing I like to call subcommands. So essentially what a subcommand is, is it lets you chain together multiple commands without having to use if statements essentially. So ra rather than having a command here, let's just say at commands.command async def what should we call it? Let's just call it first because it's the first of our commands. Right, rather than having to go, um, sort of, you know, param one, param, uh, param two, and so on, and then and then going if param one equals second, do this, and so on and so forth. Uh, Discord.py actually handles this for us. So we can make subcommands really, really easily. And all we have to do is, well, let's just get rid of this for now. All you have to do is change at commands.command to at commands.group. Now, let's send something, shall we? So for each command, we're just going to go await ctx.send. This is the first command layer let's call them a layer because they're underneath each other right and now let's just go at commands.group except this is wrong this is how you define a subcommand so the way you need to actually do it is go at first dot command so essentially what you're doing is you're linking this command to the first command so it won't run on its own because it's underneath that and then we'll just go self ctx await ctx.send this is man I really can't spell it on second command layer now why don't we pop out of this and just run this just so we can show it off for you so we'll just run the bot make sure everything I logs in okay and then we can just quite simply go down here and open this up. So if we run the help command, you notice all our other commands are running. I happen to be running the bot three times because I was testing the bot out beforehand. So we'll just run that again and let's just do that again, shall we? <laughs> so now that we're only running one instance of the bot rather than three, we can take a look. And so under our groups category, you'll notice that there's only first. So what happens if I go second? And then we just pop over here and ah, oh, it's because there's no command found. But what if, what what if I type in first, right? This is the first command line. So let's use our sub command. So we just go first and second. But you'll notice that both of them work. But Ethan, you must. I, I I don't want to have both commands work. I want to be able to use this command without tripping this one and so on and so forth. Well, there's a couple of ways you can do this. There is a decorator, as far as I'm aware. I haven't quite remembered it properly. So the way we're just going to do this is with a simple if statement. If ctx.invoked underscore subcommand is none, run this command. Essentially what we're saying is this will run every single time, but it will only do the code here if we are not calling another sub command. So let's just end those and we'll go check that out, shall we? Alright. We run the bot itself. Come back into Discord. So now if we go first it should work perfectly fine. So if we go first it still works. But then if we go first second it also still works and that's how you separate them out. So that's how we separate them out into subcommands, right? So you've got your, your main command, your top level command, and then you've got the subcommand underneath that. But what if I want to have like nested subcommands? Well, you can also do that. So rather than defining that as a command, we define that as another group. And then you can do at second dot command async def third. Wait, ctx.send. This is the bottom command. 
come on, layer. Now we need to bring this part down to here because it will always get called and there is a sub command for it. And so now if we go run our bot, run the help command as always, still only first. What if I go help groups? No, come on. Help first. Sorry. I was thinking about my own custom on there. So you notice that you can call first, but there's also another command underneath that. Help first second. What's the help for that? <laughs> and it just keeps going on and on and on. So the way this works is essentially it's just built into discord.py. So rather than having to build your own handler, it's all handled for you. So now let's run these. First, first, second, first, second, third. So now you notice these all work, but that's a bit bland and boring, isn't it? Now it's lockdown, you know? New Zealand's on lockdown, most of the world's on lockdown, so let's spice it up a little bit, shall we? So in the bottom layer, let's, let's call someone out, you know, just, hey dude. You finally got some success. And then we're gonna go and tag the author ctx.message.author.mention. Now, let's have a think about what we want to put in the middle command, shall we? Personally, I'm thinking about doing something special. So we currently know how to send a message to the channel with uh, CTX. You know how to send it to where the command is called. But why don't we send it somewhere different for once, you know? So in here, let's get rid of this, shall we? So we're going to go and we're going to go. We actually do need to pass something in here. So we're going to go channel ID equals come on. and then we're going to go in here if channel does not equal none because essentially if the channel is passed in like it actually exists then what we're going to do here is we're going to go channel equals self dot bot dot get underscore channel we need to turn that id into an integer and so now we've got a channel object we can send to that channel object. So instead of CTX, we go await channel dot send. And then what shall we send? Hey, this is a message from me, the bot. Bet you didn't see who ran the command. And then we'll just delete this after 15 seconds to keep it nice and toasty in there. Now, cool. So let's go test these out for now. See what we've got going. So if we run first, we'll just check this out. First, this is the first command line. First, second, third. Hey, we've got an error. Let's have a look. Cool. So what's going on here is something to do with this being called. So we've invoked a sub command, but it's not working the way we thought it would. So essentially what we're going to do here is cheat a bit and move these around. Now there is a way to fix this, um, but I'm just going to cheat for the moment and chuck that down there and now because we've got all this free time on our hands I actually want you guys to figure this out so essentially what's going on here is that ctx.invoke subcommand is tripping up a bit and I would like you guys to come up with your own solutions as to why that is happening and why that wasn't working there so essentially just make up your solutions, chuck them in the comments, chuck them in the discord, just tag me and then if you guys are getting it right, massive kudos to you, otherwise next episode 
if it doesn't look like you guys are understanding it I'll just quickly go over that again and just explain a couple more things but I just thought it'd be a nice way to you know get you guys involved with it a bit more so for now actually why don't we send someone a DM here so let's send DM to someone so we're going to go await ctx dot me dot user message dot author my bad dot send hey cool so let's just go and test this out now oh, is it, uh, unmatched brackets what haven't I matched up here guys I probably should have looked the uh, line that the error was occurring on it eh? right there cool so let's jump into Discord and take a look first this is the first command layer first second Cool, so the bot's actually sent me a DM. So if we go check it out, uh, we'll just have a look at this. Hey, would you look at that? The bot sent me a nice message. <laughs> go leave this channel alone whilst governors are recording. Thanks, bye. That's just uh, proving how good I am. <laughs> Sending the message to myself while I'm recording. Oh, man. The joys of programming. And that's what happens when you don't check your users. So that's like an out on message event where if we didn't check if the message was from ourselves it would just keep looping and looping so i set that up with the intention that i was able to record on my own since i don't have some permissions in this discord but i didn't check if it was me talking in the channel so whenever i talked and like i ran a command like this first second third the bot would dm me so yeah that's just uh careless programming on my behalf so you notice this doesn't actually work doing first second third and there's no no events called that's because we haven't actually specified a channel ID for it. So we'll go first, second, third, and let's go into testing for now. First, second, third, give it a channel ID. It's going to go fetch that channel and send a message to it. Hey, if we look down the bottom, hey, this is a message from me, the bot. Bet you didn't see who ran the command. <laughs> uh, so that's essentially it for uh, this episode. Um, so there's that challenge for you guys is figure out why the if ctx invoke subcommand part is not working figure out why that group call is tripping up there and then if you guys post your answers uh, let's go to the discord and say the comments right in the youtube comments go hey man i've done the challenge and tagged you in the discord and then in the discord just post your answer in like a code bin or something with a couple of your uh, commands in it Post your answer and tag me with it and just be like, hey man, I finished off the challenge for episode 7. So that'll be sick. Discord will be in the description. Otherwise, uh, happy coding. And if you want any help with anything else, stay tuned and, well, try and enjoy yourselves in the world. Look at the positive side of life. Peace out, y'all.